Good morning, Racing Club. It's Sunday morning. Our two horses, Classical Romance and Wicked Desire, breezed on Friday. So they walked on Saturday and they'll walk today uh, as well, just to give them a, plenty of rest after that hard workout. Romy is playing the role of school teacher for Wicked Desire. They are going to be working together um, and that gives Desire some really good experience uh, in company with another horse. What you doing there, Romy? Huh? So we can put her on the inside, we can put her on the outside. Uh, Romy has 18 races under her belt, so she knows what she's doing out there. The tricky part is not going too fast. Romy likes to really roll, but uh, Wicked Desire is not quite ready for that. You'll see in the video of the breeze that uh, Desire, uh, just after four furlongs, she started to get pretty tired and, and let uh, Romy slip on by. And that's to be expected. We're just, you know, not, that's only her first five furlongs, so she's not quite ready to, to really put in a strong full five furlongs yet. But uh, very pleased with the way the, the work went. And she, she's just really a natural. She just loves to take those tight turns and um, she can stay right up on the rail without any trouble at all. And uh, she's not intimidated by another horse close to her. So uh, we're going to be ready for July 22nd at Del Mar. And here is Irresistible Force a few days after her surgery. Gosh, it's coming up on a week pretty soon. And uh, she's just got a, uh, an elastic bandage around that. There's two little tiny holes. Uh, there's uh, uh, an X stitch on each hole. And uh, the ankle looks fantastic. There's very little swelling and uh, no real discomfort. We've got a little um, sedative on board this morning, so we don't want her uh, bouncing around on that uh, ankle at this point. And uh, in about five days, five or six days, she'll go to uh, a little farm nearby. We were gonna send her to Kentucky uh, when, you know, the normal uh, recovery routine is three months off, but her ankle was in such good condition that uh, the surgeon said two months will do it. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll give her two months off now. We've, we're already a week into that. So now it's down to like uh, seven weeks and um, she'll be coming back to the barn here at Santa Anita at the same time our other horses come back from Del Mar. So when Del, Del Mar's finished, the force returns and we'll start her back into training. And that's gonna take a couple of months, probably eight to 10 weeks. So we'll be ready to race when the winter spring race meet begins the day after Christmas here at Santa Anita. And here's Wicked Desire, second day after her breeze. You can see she's lost some weight in her neck. Her belly's tightening up. She's uh, getting into really nice condition for a race. You can see that nice big chest with a big heart in there. And you can see how she's trimmed up, but her weight is excellent. She's still a little bit heavy. You compare her to Irresistible Force when uh, she was racing. And you can see we've got a little ways to go yet, but training's going really well. So here we go with the breeze. Wicked Desire is on the inside. Abel Cedillo, who will probably be her jockey when she starts racing, is in the irons. And on the outside is Classical Romance with apprentice rider Adrian Escobedo, who finished second on Romy in her last start. Classical Romance looks like a little circus horse in her red bridle and her fancy saddle cloth. 